Hey y'all, wording Wolfways. Watching Wolfways, basking Wolfways. I had a really hard night. I missed my children exquisitely and I just didn't know what to do except get out of the space I was in. And I've been watching Bass stuff for three months to survive and it's been so cool to learn that everything that I've, not everything, but God damn it, I'm fucking Basque as hell. Hella Basque. By the way, hella Basque, and Marie, um, I brought up your name over here at Udaneta. And I've reached out to you a couple times. People busy, I'm busy, and I'm intense, and you're the quiet kind, and I'm the like fucking can't shut the fuck up flavor of Basque woman. Um, the gal that I met, her husband is quite a kind of Spanish pass from Bilbao. And um, they've court, the, the woman I met said she's corresponded with you a, bit, a few times. So I literally said, I'm going to give you my information. Um, if you throw it in the garbage, cool. If you get, pass it on, cool. What I would like to geek out with you on is all the exquisite connections to Oakland culture. I, I know you didn't grow up in Oakland. We, at my school, we only played handball and um, we played baseball with a wiffle ball bat. That's not important. But growing up in Catholic school in Oakland, we'd be walking around and be like, try to rhyme. I got some videos on my TikTok of it, but it's improv rapping that goes back and forth. And I got a degree in rhetoric. What does that sound like? I can't remember the name of what you said it is. The way the men will compete in song and debate. See the movie Blind Spotting. David Dix and Raphael something. They're from Berkeley. The movie is exquisite, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's uh, hip hop. Sometimes you have the flow, and sometimes you don't. The other thing is the 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 handball. The other thing is that I was well, I could geek out on that. Man, I'm baskets. But anyway, to the rest of you, I needed to get out. I needed to have connection. Um, follow your gut, listen, so be a crow. Here's what I do. I go, me and Riddick go, uh, not wolf wandering, because wolves don't like wander unless they need to get the energy out. I'm a crow. Well, I'm a wolf. But we just walk around the city and look for stuff. So I knew I needed to do that. And I was desperate for connection. So I shot an email to the chef. And he responded that he gets it because of this. Um, but uh, he wasn't here. So I was like, fuck it, I'm getting on a bus. It took me 20 minutes. Udaneta is a Basque restaurant here in Portland. I'm on Alberta and 30th. So kind and caring. And let me word at them for like a hot minute. I let I just wanted the menu, so I got the menu to geek out on because I'm a chef. Um, but here's the exquisite thing, and I just watched a video of people getting interviewed in Bilbao. Uh, there's this thing that that people who don't know call it Basque um, burnt cheesecake. Well, this video I was watching about Bilbao was saying, no, it's not all the Basque. It's a restaurant in Bilbao that has this, and that's important because we have to honor that restaurant. She gave me some. This woman gave me some. There's a sauce on it, which concerns me because I'm picky, but I'm gonna just imagine that this is my food and I'm gonna eat it. I'm so looking forward to putting this in my mouth. Uh, wow, four minutes of wording. I see a lot of good food here. I'm broke as fuck. I mean, I don't have a job, I can't work. For the back, here's the background. Hella, at Halabask and Marie, you know how we, Baskar is the women with the mothers and it's not just of our children it's everything and I fight with um, I'm not gonna I just not gonna date out of my cold I'm just not gonna date for a while because uh, I just know how to do things better than a lot of people and people push back and think I'm arrogant I'm like no I just I know what you're better than me at and you're wasting time just let just let me get it done or let me help you a lot of visualization. So, Anne-Marie, your videos have helped me not lose my shit. I lost custody of my boys a little over a year ago. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I'll sob, so I'm here. But um, for a mother to lose her, ch her children, a Basque mother especially, any mother, 
and not dead. I lost custody. Plenty of studies show that the depression and the pain from losing custody when you know they're there is so much worse than they're just being dead. I don't wish my kids dead. Anyway, I'm gonna get them back. Anne Marie, you have helped me so much just in your content because you're happy and cheerful. I just watched your one about the the festival in uh, Bakersfield and um, your dad was so cute sitting in the back. My father is from Chile. So I am the Basque, Spanish Basque that um, helped the Spanish get to Chile and then probably felt pretty disgusted at what the Spanish did. And what they did is they, instead of pairing with the Spanish, they paired with the local, the Mapuche. Now the Mapuche are a native tribe in that area. I'm not gonna say Chilean because fuck, fuck the Spanish. Uh, in the Andes, very similar, right? Um, go look them up, it's a great culture, it's whoever cares. What is my point? That was 500 years ago. So um, I, I don't know where in Basque I'm from. And my father, oh, we were going to mark my father. My father is like a all machismo, but the reason he's that is because he had brown skin, which is in Mapuche blood. So he got made fun of in his class and was called monkey boy. <laughs> I look more like him than any of my six siblings, but I am way wider. I'm actually, uh, I got the darkness up here because I can tan like a motherfucker. But if I showed you my legs, oh snap. Wow, I'm wording a lot. But that's because on my mother's side, I'm a fucking Mayflower descendant from two passengers and Scotch Irish. Oh, that's a whole nother story prompt. Uh, I always knew there was something about my great grandmother and I that it just looks, it looked familiar. I'm not gonna go into it, but I've been puzzling on it since I was a kid. And then I studied anthropology and I keep puzzling on this. Well, sure as shit about like, I have no concept of time since I lost my kids. Uh, it has been noted that the, the Basque and the Celts are genetic cousins. Let me give you that real quick. There was a group that left Africa around 50,000, well, longer than that. But by the time they got to a place called the Caucasus Mountains, Caucasus Mountains, AKA Caucasian, which is bullshit, um, just like the fucking Pyrenees and the Andes. They um, were grouped together and they settled in that area and there was a lot of conflict with the Arabs and Turkey. And so this this co-group, the Celts and the Basque, they were a group together, spent about 5,000 years just kicking in the mountains and not getting conquered. Well, a group of them were like, fuck this, and they went off to Spain and France and they ended up settling in the Great Pyrenees. So they only spent 5,000 years in the Caucasus Mountains. Now, the Celts, that group, spent 45,000 years in the Caucasus Mountains. Then they went to Europe and became the Celts. And the other language that is a, a, a language isolate besides the Basque is Gaelic. My great-grandmother, ha, um, we're kin. Dork out on that, I'm gonna shut up and go home um i don't i'm teaching myself basque um so and i can't even remember how to say hello but i can see the letters anyway i do speak spanish ciao uh mucho gusto whatever um Anne marie <laughs> if we connect and i wear my muzzle i would love to figure out uh we should do a co-something together or I can do my wording thing, but we have like, maybe you get to have this the control over the hourglass, like a 30 second hourglass so that we can do the back and forth thing. And I don't steamroll your ass. The only way to get me to shut up is to get me working. Um, focus working, especially chefing. I don't talk when I'm cooking. I like to have my friends near when I'm cooking. And so I can hear the conversation, but I don't chime in at all. I cook and I take it very seriously. And everyone knows if I give them a heads up, it's five minutes to the foods on the table. Um, and then I do my plating and all the stuff. Uh, you better be fucking on time. 
I don't actually like to sit and eat with them. And they're like, come eat with us. That's not my jam. That's not my jam. My jam is cooking and, and enjoying watching them continue to converse and enjoy the food. Food is so important. It's the most intimate thing you can put in someone's body, more so than I would say um, sex, because while that's intimate, um, you don't need it to not die. Now I'm really talking. Where was I going with that? Uh, oh yeah, and Marie, we'll, I'll, it, we can make it a joke. And I can be disciplined if I have a visual. Um, and I would love to cook for you. I would love to cook for your family and shut up and cook and listen to you guys do the more calm, passing thing. Uh, in my family, with my there were six of us and my father and my stepmom, and my stepmom was quiet, of course. She's a very strong woman, but quiet and demure. And I would bring my girlfriends and they're white, you know? And they're like, oh my God, do we need to leave? Because my family's speaking Spanish and my brother's arguing. They're not arguing, they're, we're getting loud. And my friend, my lovers would be like, this is getting really tense. I think, I, it feels like we need to go. And I'm like, no, this is just what we are. 11 25 minutes i'll do a thing on the menu tomorrow when i have a chance to dork out on it i don't know how to explain it but i can as a chef and as an autistic who can viscerally and all sensory experience things without actually having it in my mouth because i can put it to i can cook it in my head and put it in my mouth i'm looking forward to that tomorrow stay tuned Anne marie thank you all the others and rest of you that make Fast content, whether you be in Bilbao or wherever, um, or non Basque, thank you. Because this mom wouldn't have made it. And I can't wait to get my kids Basque or get back, get them back. Because they love to learn and get connected. And there, you think I talk a lot. One of mine is quieter and more gentle. He, he'll talk. But my older one, started talking very early and that little motherfucker will call me out i've got a video where he i said something and he goes no mom it's this and i know he's right and he goes come on mom you went to college and he was 11 12 40. thank you javier for your staff i can't remember her name she was it was the manager tonight it's the date i don't know what the date is it's um it is not Easter Sunday, it's spring break week. So it's not Ash, yeah, okay. It's the Sunday before Easter. Thank you to everyone, thank you to everyone. Um, I connect with the Mapuche because they also worship food. The women of the shamans, everything is about intentional, intentional, intentional. Thanking you for you, thanking you for And I have that, I have that with them. But um, I started wearing a braid in the Bay Area when I was 10. And people were like, you're weird. I think my mom was like, what are you doing? I just didn't care. But I was rocking that motherfucker. This is how I wear when I'm relaxed. This is my, well, when I want to relax. All right, so I got it still slightly cut to the side. Uh, I like to wear my kerchief so that I have this right here. Now I will do my, um, I'm getting ready to go thing. So well, this is, I'm, it's not the ideal because I'd rather have one that fits me. Um, I love it. I was driving caps. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter because it's Celtic too. So tuck it by my ponytail. I shave on the sides, but I have long hair and it's gorgeous. If it's really cold, I'll bring this all the way down here. I've got, I like it tight and straight because I was in the MP core. I don't need it over my ear right now though. And as an MP, are we specifically folded our caps. So I'm very, I protect this crease right here. I drop it way down. I like that dramatic look. Um, I also like that it's very distinct. And who knew all the Basque wither hats different. Uh, today is the first time I saw another female in the male version of the Basque garb. So owning and learning about the garb. Here we go. Got the kerchief. 
Um, normally I'm wearing a chef's jacket on top and army pants on bottom, black. Um, I took my Celtic flag and wrapped it around me so I could have the sensory experience. I pull my Adidas pants up and my socks. And I like, I don't know what else I do this fast, but these things that I do, I'm always done them. 15 minutes. Ciao. Thank you for listening. If you made it this far, I'll do something on this tomorrow. The mat, the um, menu. And I will do a, I'm gonna eat this cake when I get home. I'm gonna have to not just pick it up and shove it down my throat. I'll, I'll honor it. I'll do a piece on it, but I'm not going to post it for a while. Thank you. Anne-Marie, thank you. All other contributors, thank you. My children, thank you. You're actually serving that. Ciao, Bella.